हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन डिजिटल डिजाइन दिस इज वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियो एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ओनली वन और टू क्वेश्चंस इन दिस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अबाउट टू बिट और थ्री बिट मल्टीप्लायर्स एंड दिस इज वेरी कॉमनली आज इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दो इट इज वेरी सिंपल बट वेरी कॉमनली आज इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग माई टाइम लेट इज गेट स्टार्टेड friends the very first question is on your screen where you have to design a two bit multiplier what do i mean by two bit multiplier a two bit multiplier has two inputs let us say a which is of two bits and b which is b1 and b0 and output of this two bit multiplier will be p which will be four bits long this is very general understanding if you are going to multiply two numbers having two bits each then output product will be 4 bits long friends this is very simple i know most of you may be knowing it but some of you want to try it if you come to know its answer or you know its answer please write it down in the comment section and we will discuss it there okay let me reveal its answer friends here i have considered two numbers a which has two bits a1 and a0 and the second number is b which has two bits b1 and b0 How we do binary multiplication? Firstly, we multiply b zero with a zero, and we write it here a zero into b zero. Then we multiply this a one by b zero. So I am writing a one into b zero here. Here we write multiplication sign. Then we multiply a zero by b one. A zero by b one. I am writing here. Then we multiply a one with b one, and I am writing here. Then we simply perform add operation here. So a zero b zero here we don't have any second number so it will come as it is a zero b zero. Then we add a one b zero plus a zero b one. So that is my second term. Whatever carry will be generated from here will be followed to the next position. So this c will be added with a one b one that will form my third term. And whatever carry will be generated from these two numbers will be forwarded at the next position. Let us name it as c two. So this is c two. So C two will come as it is. The final product, let us name it as P. I was discussed earlier also. So this will be my P zero term. This will be my P one term. This will be my P two term. This will be my P three. Friends, from these expressions, it is very easy to get its logic design. Let me show you how will we get its logic diagram. So this is my expression. I am keeping it on one side. This is P zero, P one, P two, P three terms. Let us get first p zero. P zero will be equal to a zero into b zero. So only we need to put one AND gate. So we'll get p zero. This is a zero b zero. P one. P one is equal to a zero into b one plus a one into b zero. A zero into b one. A zero into b one. This AND gate. A one into b zero. A one into b zero. This AND gate. Then we need to add both of them. And I'm using half adder here. Half adder will give me p1, and this carry will be forward to the next position. So what is the next position? Next position is I need to add that carry with a1 b1. So a1 b1 I am I need to put one AND gate plus with this carry. So again I am putting half adder, and then I will get p2 and p3. So this is my final product. Friends, now I have a question for you. It is just for your practice, where you have to design a three bit multiplier. What do I mean by three bit multiplier? Here you will have two numbers. Each number will have three bits, and the output product will be p, which will have six bits. Try to design it, and if you come to know its answer, please write it down in the comment section, and I will reply there. With this, I am going to close this session, and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. And in future also, we are going to create many such videos. So don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.